Hi, Joe from Joe's Firearm Safety here. Today's video is going to help you prepare for the practical portion of your online hunter education exam. If you have not yet finished the Manitoba Hunter Education online course, we will provide a link to that in the description of this video. So, for your online practical exam, we're going to be using a couple of different things. We're going to use a couple of disabled firearms, as well as dummy ammunition. During your online practical exam, the safe direction will always be directly to your front, unless otherwise indicated. Muzzle control is very important whenever you're using any firearms, um, so this safe direction must always be kept in mind. So let's talk about the dummy ammunition that we're going to be using for your online exam. We have rim fire cartridges, shotgun shells, and center fire cartridges. So let's look at our rim fire cartridges first. These dummy rounds will either have holes punched in the bottom like this just to show that they are dummy rounds or they will appear as single piece metal cartridges. These are actually referred to as snap caps. Your rimfire cartridges are named as such because the primer is actually located all the way around the rim. The name of these cartridges does not typically appear on the cartridge themselves so we have to find out what they are from the box that they're coming out of. So these three cartridges are 22 long rifle. Then we have our shotgun shells. The shotgun shells do have head stamps on them, which indicate what the gauge is. And on the side is written the length of the shell. In this case, they are all two and three quarter. Two of these are 12 gauge and one is a 16 gauge shell. These two shells here would normally contain shot, the name for the pellets of the BBs contained inside the shotgun shell. This one here actually contains a slug. This is used for hunting larger game and has a single projectile. Then we have our center fire cartridges. These are going to be more common for big game hunting. The three, or sorry, the four center fire cartridges that we have here, um, you can tell that the primers have actually been removed completely from them. They have the name of the cartridge on that head stamp. This fourth cartridge right here would not be appropriate for big game hunting. It has what's called a full metal jacket projectile on it and it is illegal to hunt big game in Manitoba with a full metal jacket cartridge. These three cartridges here would be perfectly legal for hunting most big game in Manitoba. The two disabled firearms that we'll be using for the practical exam include a brake or hinge action shotgun and a bolt action rifle. Now let's talk about the bolt action rifle first. Whenever we pick up any firearm for any reason whatsoever, we want to go through our axe and our proof. So we're going to assume that this firearm is loaded, we're going to control the muzzle direction at all times, keep our trigger finger off the trigger and out of the trigger guard, and see that the firearm is unloaded by proving it's safe. To prove it's safe, I simply point it in my safest available direction, I remove the ammunition, if this action was closed, I would simply lift up on the bolt handle, pull it to the rear, and that would eject any cartridge that is inside of it. Once that ammunition is removed, I want to observe the chamber. The chamber is just the very beginning of the barrel here. I want to look to make sure there's no ammunition or other obstructions in it. I will verify the feeding path to make sure there's no other ammunition in the firearm. And lastly, I want to examine the bore for obstructions. The bore is the inside of the barrel. To examine the bore on this particular firearm, I can either do a visual inspection from the muzzle end, or I could use a cleaning rod with a tight fitting patch or, as I prefer, to remove the bolt. To remove the bolt from this particular firearm, you actually have to pull the trigger. This is safe to do so as long as you've performed all the steps of proof and the action is open. So what I'll do is I'll pull the trigger, pull the bolt to the rear, the bolt will get removed. I can then safely look down the barrel from the rear of the firearm. To place the bolt back in, I'm just gonna line it up like so, give it a good push from the rear, and the bolt is back in. Now this particular bolt action rifle uses 22 long rifle cartridges. There's a data stamp on the barrel right over here, which you won't be able to see on the video, unfortunately. There is a safety on this side of the firearm here. It's called a pivot lever or rocker safety. We push it forward to disengage the safety so it's ready to shoot, or we pull it back towards the user to engage the safety so the safety is on. This bolt action rifle would commonly be used for hunting small game or for target shooting, plinking, and that kind of thing. Use the small rimfire cartridges. 
Next we have our brake or hinge action shotgun. So once again, as soon as I pick this firearm up for any reason, I want to go through my axe and my prove. I'm pointing the firearm in my safest available direction. I'm going to remove any ammunition. In order to do that, if the action was closed, I would push on this switch or this lever at the top to the side, the action opens up, and you would manually remove any cartridges inside of it. Next, I want to observe the chambers. Because we have two barrels, that means that we also have two chambers that we can take a look in, make sure there's no ammunition left or are there any other obstructions. The feeding path is usually just referred to as this area in front of the chambers because it's actually loaded from my hand. And lastly, I'm going to examine the bores. To examine the bores, if you look at it from the rear of the firearm, there's never really any reason with a brake or hinge action firearm to examine the bore from the muzzle end. The safest way is always going to be from the breech. This particular firearm has a safety located right here. It's called a slider tang safety. You push it forward to take the safety to the off position or ready to fire and pull it back towards the user to engage that safety or put it on the safety on position. This particular breaker hinge action firearm uses 16 gauge 2 and 3 quarter inch shotgun shells. Now these shotguns are most commonly used for bird hunting, um, ducks, geese, upland game birds, but they can be used on a variety of other game as well. So we hope that this video has helped you prepare for your practical online hunter education exam and we hope to see you soon. Happy hunting!